Tu occupes mes jours comme si tu existais. Cardin first stepped into the spotlight in her home province of Quebec on the French language version of The Voice in 2013 when she was just 18 years old. See the sun leading us to the land of the lost and the reason lies. Now this song, Meaningless, is gaining her a whole new audience. The Juno winner for Single of the Year. I spoke to Cardin a few days ago and began by asking her how this video, with more than 4 million views on YouTube, is helping her connect with new fans. Among those four million, where are you getting views for that? Um, well, a lot of the views are coming from Montreal, which is our main fan base. That's where the project started off and, and you know, where most of our audience is. Uh, but we are getting a lot of views also from uh, a lot of European countries. We have a wonderful fan base in France. Uh, uh, we also have a big fan base in Turkey. We went to Istanbul for the first time a few weeks ago to perform. And we played to a huge crowd, which was crazy and so surprising because we had never been there before. So it's amazing how sometimes, you know, the internet can have your music travel from, you know, one side of the world to the other. Um, but uh, we're very excited. We also have a nice fan base uh, in Toronto. And so uh, the English parts of Canada are also starting to discover our music. So, you know, it's come, the, the views are coming from a lot of different places, although still mostly from Montreal. are obviously an incredibly talented musician uh, in terms of playing music, writing music, and, and singing. Um, but you also have a real sense of, of videos. And, you know, I think of uh, Passive Aggressive, watching that video, there, there's a, you know, it starts with a tight shot of you, um, and then all of a sudden there's a wide shot that's kind of like attention getting. Um, <laughs> and, 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 you know, th that was, that looks exactly the way you want it to look. So tell me what the, what the creative process was there. Well, Passive Aggressive was an extremely interesting video to shoot because I co-directed that video with my main creative partner, Jason. Jason co-wrote all of the songs on the album with me. So we're obviously both extremely involved on the music side. And so when we decided to direct that video together, uh, Passive Aggressive was our first single off the album Phoenix. Um, and... The song is very liberating um, and it's about liberating yourself from a toxic relationship. And so we wanted the video to feel as liberating. And it's also a little bit provocative in the lyrics. There's something a little bit sassy about the song. And so we wanted that to be reflected in the music video as well. And that's why we flirted with a bit of a more provocative side of the video. Um, but that was so much fun to do because obviously those were our ideas and, and not anything that was ever imposed on me or anything like that. We just like playing with those subtleties um, that will go from, you know, the visuals of one song to uh, be connected to the lyrics of the song. Hey, speaking of provocative, I couldn't help but notice in Meaningless, the F word is, is one of the lyrics. Not common, I don't think, for a single, for an artist, especially an emerging artist. So what was the thought process there? Well, I, um, I guess, unfortunately, I do use the F word in my <laughs> normal language, in the way that I express myself. Um, and so... My songs are very personal songs and I write a lot of my lyrics the way I would talk to someone or just in a very conversational way. Uh, and for me, it just makes it even more personal that it reflects the way that I actually express myself. Um, and so I do have a few songs that have the F word in them, but that's just, I guess, yeah, that's just the way that I express myself. Hey, so does Dua Lipa. So you're in pretty good company yeah. there. <laughs> um, I'm just curious, for you in your career as you're this emerging artist, um, have you had a connection at all with some of the other big Canadian or international artists as your stardom begins to grow? Yes. Um, well, I have reached out to uh, some artists that I admire very much. I wrote um, uh, 
a, a message on Instagram to Mustafa, who is also a Juno nominated artist, just to tell him how much I absolutely loved his album and how it, it really was a, a big part of, of, of my year, just listening to his album and, and, and having it be a part of, of my daily life. Um, I've had a few conversations with um, Dua Lipa. She actually uh, posted one of my songs on her Instagram, which was amazing because I'm a huge Dua Lipa fan. So that was wonderful. She posted one of my songs and said that she really liked it. So we had a few short exchanges on, on Instagram. But it, it is nice to just reach out to artists that you like and, and, and to have those conversations. I feel like at the at the Junos, um, I might also meet artists that I admire and and. Um, yeah, it, it's nice because um, artists go through a lot of different things and I feel like I can learn a lot from speaking to all of those artists. So, um, yeah, it's always fun to be in contact with them. Come on, you're exchanging Instagram messages with Dua Lipa? That must have been thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did I did freak out a little bit when I saw a notification pop up <laughs> on my phone. Dua Lipa mentioned you in her story. I was like, is this like, am I hallucinating right now? <laughs> but yeah, no, she's very, very sweet. And she's been very supportive of my music, which is really nice for such a huge artist. It's, it's really nice to have that strong female support you know between artists that's uh that's really really lovely i was looking at your tour schedule and you do a lot of concerts in quebec montreal in particular many of them sold out but you're also going across the country all the way actually out to victoria and vancouver for english audiences that maybe don't know your music that well let's finish this with this what should they know about you um that's a very good question well i am a pop artist who does um, pop music, but it's very influenced by jazz and hip hop and indie music. So it's kind of a left field kind of pop. I love playing music. I'm a songwriter and uh, I hope I will see you all very soon at a concert near your home. You are fantastic to listen to. I've been listening to a lot of your music lately and, and also delightful to talk to. So uh, really nice uh, having this conversation. Thank you so much for having me. That was lovely. Thank you.